welcome to Nick Pug. I'm Carrie, also known as Jaded Knitter, and it is Monday, February 8th. And yes, it's Monday. Sunday, unfortunately, was lost to a migraine, so I'm recording tonight instead. Um, today was the day where adulting was really, really hard. I got up, I had a shower, and did all the morning stuff got to work, went to put on my shoes at work, realized I hadn't worn socks. Yep, it was one of those days. Uh, <laughs> luckily the shoes I had at work do not necessarily require socks, and I don't actually wear socks in, in the summer, so it worked out just fine, but yeah, today was the day. That So I make no guarantees on the quality of this podcast. None. Okay, I never really do, but you know. Um, so yeah. Getting back to the original topic. <laughs> it is, like I said, it's 8th of February. It's Monday. This is episode 13, which is my lucky number, so. Um, and you can find us on... YouTube and iTunes under Knitpug website, which is knitpug.com, and uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram and Ravelry, all under Jaded Knitter, and come join our Rav group. It's, for obvious reasons, named Knitpug, um, and if you can hear weird noises, the bug half of the podcast is... Come here. Chewing on his Christmas flamingo. What can I say? They were on sale. They were like a buck. I have a whole series. They all have Santa hats on. And not one of them is an animal that is normally associated with Christmas. Um, I think my favorite is the safety orange. I have no idea what it is, but it's safety orange. <laughs> so yeah. On to what you guys are coming here for, which is the knitting. Uh, so, first up, these are the socks that I have been knitting on for a while now, or one of the pairs of socks. Um, this is one of them. The other one is actually, I'm halfway through the, the foot. These are top down. Um, but I realized that I left it at work. So you get to see one of them because this one's finished. Uh, and this is Regina Perfect, um, or Perfect, I think is how it's, because it's P-A-I-R. Um, and it is, I'm enjoying them. I had uh, one of the ladies from our virtual knit night, which if anyone wants to join, it's Fridays at 7 Eastern, and the link's up in the group, so feel free. Um, but yeah, one of the ladies from the VCAN had mentioned that she had seen this pattern done with a really neat, in a really neat fashion, so I'm going to try that next, and it'll, you'll see. Um, I don't know if it'll actually be the next sock I knit, just because I'm, um, Knitting to stay awake at the moment, which requires mindless knitting. Uh, the other thing I am starting on is... Started it! This is the sweater for my neighbor Rose, who is the wonderful, wonderful lady who is taking Gadget out for walks uh, at lunchtime for me. Because, for obvious reasons, I can't get home to do it myself. Um, so this is the start of the sweater. It is bottom up, and I realized today that I'd actually put the wrong blue in. Uh, there we go. Catch the light right. Um, so there is, it's showing kind of a dark blue in there, and it should have actually been this blue, um, which is more of an aqua, but eh, whatever. It looks good. It was one of the blues that was meant to go in there anyway, so I'll just switch them around. No one's gonna notice. Um, Endurison 
is this is the the sweater it is out of the book knitting with icelandic wool uh by dennis yon's daughter i think i hope i'm pronouncing that right um and so far i'm enjoying it it's i'm doing it, it calls for um letty uh loki and alfos alfosi um, because you're supposed to actually, now that I've read the pattern, you're supposed to actually use the thinner yarn and you twine two colors together in a lot of places. Um, so it comes up a lot more marled than the way I'm doing it, but I like the way I'm doing it and it's quick and easy. Um, I'm doing it out of Patton's Classic Wool, they're roving, which I like it. It's working. It's knitting up well. Um, it's definitely one of those yarns that you have to be careful with because it is splitty um, because it is a single ply. It's an under plied single ply because it really is, you really could probably spin this quite easily. Um, actually no you probably couldn't because it's, it's kind of matted together. Um, but yeah. Like I said, I'm enjoying it. I have it in 13 different colors, so you will see a lot more of this in the weeks to come because there will be more of this. Um, yeah. That is the sum total of the knitting because uh, I didn't really get much done this weekend. I'm still unpacking. I've got most of the kitchen, um, almost all of my kitchen's done, most of my bedroom. My living room's a mess because everything that hasn't been put in a place is still in the living room. So I don't even know where half of my yarn is. <laughs> Which is, I just realized, is going to become a very quick problem because I don't know where the sock yarn is. I will have to find that. Yeah. I brought a bunch of the stuff I got from Janet from uh, her Crazy Dog Yarns store with me in the car. So that's got to still be out. That's in the bedroom. So now you know what I'm doing next. Um, the only other thing is, and this is kind of, because there is no, there are no finished objects. Well, there's my, I keep wanting to call it a Haruni, and it isn't. The Haruni is the shawl, which I have knit before. Um, I no longer have, because I gave it to a friend of mine. but. Um, this was the sweater that we were doing the knit along for in, back in the, the fall before Christmas. Um, the other thing I got is I had, I needed to order needles because I, uh, due to issues, um, I was ordering some high highs. I've got the 2mm and 2.25s for my socks. This, those ones are actually on 2mm. And they had, these are um, beaders for knitting, uh, for applying beads to, one is for sock yarn, one is for um, fingering, and they're for different, uh, one's for a, a 6 o beads and one's for the, the 8 o um, so bigger and smaller beads. And I got them, I have one of the original, the Flegel beaters, um, which is from Flegel on Etsy, and I love it. It's a great little thing, it works wonderfully, um, and I, I kept wanting to get the one for the larger beads and for larger yarn, but I haven't been able to, and it's US pricing and US shipping. Um, I got these from Acne, Acne Fibers. Um, they look very similar to the Flegel ones, so I'm going to see how these work, and I will let you know. Although it'll be a while before they get pulled out again because there isn't anything immediately getting beaded. Apparently we're active today. Um, so yeah, those will get a review later, and I will tell you how they work against the Flegel. Um, for
from the looks of things, they will be very comparable. Because um, they look pretty much the same. So like I said, I got those from Acme Fibers, which is where I got the, my Haya Hayas. Which are my default, quote unquote, cheap needles. Uh, speaking of, reading through the pattern, completely random going back a bit. Um, reading through the pattern for this, I did not realize that needles came in a 7mm. Because they come in, it, it made sense in my own head, but they come in uh, 6 and 6.5, which is 10 and 10 and a half, I think. Yeah. 6 is a 10, uh, 6 millimeter is a 10 US. Uh, 6 and 0.5 millimeter is a 10 and a half US. And then the next size up is an 11 US, which is an 8 millimeter. Well, apparently you can get... Um, it's like a 10.75 and a 10.85 or something, which is your 7 millimeter and your 7.5 millimeter. Buggers to find. I have not been able to find one because um, this pattern actually calls for a 7 millimeter. So I've just been trying to knit very, very loosely on a 6.5 and, and hope that it still fits. <laughs> but it's, it's looking like it's going to be fun. But yeah, I didn't, it didn't even occur to me. Because um, there's no US equivalent for the 3mm. So apparently, when you get up into the larger sizes, there's a fairly large jump in the size between a 10 and an 11 US. Who knew? Um, not me, because I don't normally knit with big sizes. I was actually impressed I had the 6.5s. I thought I was going to have to order them. So, that's all the knitting content. Um, shows and stuff coming up. I am going to, hello, um, I'm going to Knitters Frolic in Toronto on, uh, I think it's the 30th of April and the 1st of May, or the 30th and 31st, January, March. Yeah, April doesn't have, April only has 30 days. Yeah, I have to do the knuckle thing to try and remember. I It was just never something I memorized. Um, so April has 30 days. So it's the 30th of April and the 1st of May um, in Toronto. All right, you then. Um, so I will be there both days because I am actually taking classes on the Sunday. Um, there are... I will be there for the... You know, so if you see me... point was, if you see me, stop and say hello. Or stop me and say hello. Because um, I love meeting people. And I may or may not be there on my own. I have no idea yet. I've invited people to come with me. I don't know if anyone's coming. Um, and then I will be at Twist in August. Um, I will be there with uh, Janet from Crazy Dog Yarns, um, helping her vend, and apparently checking out the competition, which is basically I'm um, going to buy stash. Yeah. Yeah, I will let you guys know if you... If I will be anywhere else, I'm probably not going to any of the U.S. festivals this year. Um, but um, I will be going to uh, the Kitchener-Waterloo Knitters Fair. Um, like I said, I'll be at Twist in Toronto. Or Twist in Toronto. No, I'll be at Twist in Quebec. Um, at St. Something. I've forgotten what the name of the town is. Um, but I will be at Knitters Frolic in April. So hopefully I will see people there. And yeah, I think that's about it for today. I'm gonna go basically stop addling because I've done the did the groceries, went to work, did the groceries, I'm done addling for the day. So I'm gonna go upload this and make pierogies for dinner or pizza. I haven't decided. <laughs> you know comfort food. 
and uh, knit and read a book. So I will see you guys all next week. And yeah. <laughs> Bye.